Hello everybody. So today I want to talk about geometry. The topic today is about we need to find the ratio between Fe over AC. So now I want to show you how to answer. Let's say OF that is about the radius of the circle. I will put about R in here. And the next one, OB, OD, they are the radius of the circle. So in this situation, BD equals to true R because this is about diameter in here. So in this situation, we can find about the location. I will put about I will put G between the intersection B D F E We know that I C is tangent to the circle at D. So because that's the about the tangent, the angle in here should be ninety degrees. So this one similar ninety degrees because F E parallel with AC. That's why two angles in here they should be about 90 degrees. Now we need to find FG in the triangle. FGO. So we have G is about 90 degrees. So we have cosine as angle F about this one if we use about cosine of the right angle that should be about abjacent divide by hypotenuse so this one abjacent we have FG And this one, that is about FO. We know that's FO, that's about R. And this one, we have 30 degrees. And now we put R go to the left and we can find about FG equals to R cosine 30 degrees. So we have R with the square root of number 3 over number 2. So we know that 3 at the 3 is the midpoint of FE. So we have FG equal to GE and we have R with the square root of number 3 over 2 because we want to have about FE on the question. So FE equal to FG plus GE. So we have R with the square root of number 3 over 2. So this one we have R with the square root of number 3. This is about the first one. Now let's go to the second one. From O we connect to E. So we know that F O equal to R O uh, sorry F O equals to O E because this is about the radius of the circle. So this one we have 30 degrees because this one is about isosceles triangle. F O E is about isosceles.
try and go. So, in this one, we have 30 degrees. So, we can calculate the last angle in here. That is about 180 degrees minus 30 degrees and 30 degrees. So we have 120 degrees at angle FOE. The next one, we can find the angle ABC. We know that ABC is similar for the angle FBE. They have same about arc that is about F in here about F O E we have 120 degrees so the angle F B E should be about 120 degrees divided by 2 we have 60 degrees in here now because the that's e about the location of the tangent so I see in here, so the angle for A, B, D should be about 60 divided by 2. So this one we have 30 degrees. So angle A, B, D equals to 60 degrees divided by 2. So we have 30 degrees. So we just know that B, D, that's it in here. We have two B. So we have the right angle, right triangle A, D, B. So we have two B in here and we can find about A, D. So that should be about tan of angle B. That's it about opposite divide by abstracent. About opposite, that is about AD. Abstracent, that is about BD. Now, we can find about AD in here. So we put BD go to the left. So for this one, we have BD equals to true R. This one we have 30 degrees. So we calculate this one and we have number 2 R with the square root of number 3 over 3 so we want to find AC so AC in here equals to AD plus DC AD equals to DC so we just put about 2 AD and we have 4 R with the square root of number 3 over 3 and now we have the final answer Fe over AC so Fe in here that is about R with the square root of number 3 and the second one AC that is about 4R with the square root of number 3 over number 3. So we calculate this one. We simplify R with the square root of number 3. And we have 3 over 4. This is the end. Thank you for watching.